चीप एंड बेस्ट अ किराना शॉप बॉट सम एपल्स एट फोर पर रुपी एंड एन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ एपल्स एट फाइव पर रुपी ही देन सोल्ड द एंटायर क्वांटिटी एट नाइन फॉर टू रुपीज एट नाइन फॉर टू रुपीज वॉट इज हिस परसेंटेज प्रॉफिट और लॉस वॉट इज हिस परसेंटेज प्रॉफिट और लॉस राइट अंडरस्टैंड द एपल्स आर बींग बॉट इन टू डिफरेंट you know two different transactions right in one transaction is about 4 per rupee four apples per rupee and an equal number of apples at 5 per rupee right five apples per rupee and uh, four apples per rupee he then sold the entire quantity the total quantity at what 9 for 2 rupees right he has sold the entire quantity at nine apples for 2 rupees so what will be the percentage profit or loss so try this see what happens if you actually get no profit no loss or anything else so let's assume see let's assume he has bought total 20 apples 20 apples in first case 20 apples in second case total apples bought are 40 all right so look at look at case 1 no case 1 he has bought 4 per rupee um, 20 apples total at 4 per rupee so what is the cost price what is the total cost price you understand c1 i will i'll take it as c1 right you are buying you are buying four apples per rupee how many apples have you bought 20 apples so if it is four for 1 rupee for 20 apples it will be 20 by 4 which means 5 rupees so you spend 5 rupees in buying 20 apples in case 2 again you have bought the equal number of apples remember equal number of apples it's not anything else it, it's same number so again 20 apples only at 5 per rupee so what's the cost price now c2 i mean the second transaction cost price right so you have bought 20 apples at 5 apples per rupee so in 1 rupee you'll get 5 apples so for 20 apples you'll have to spend 4 rupees right 20 by 5 you spend 4 rupees You're getting it. Remember, quantity has to be equal, twenty and twenty. You cannot take any other quantity here. Now you may ask me a question that why did I take twenty? How do I know it's twenty? You can take any value. That doesn't matter. It has to be multiple of four and five. So that calculation becomes easy, right? Four and five here. Four apples and five apples. It can be twenty, forty, hundred, two hundred. You cannot take sixteen, for example. If you take sixteen, I mean you can take sixteen also, but calculation will become tedious. Sixteen apples at four apples per rupee, four rupees. 16 apples at 5 apples per rupee will be 3.2 rupees it will become a little difficult to calculate right deal with those numbers so better take a multiple of 4 and 5 multiple of 4 and 5 which is 20 in this case so he has spent total what 9 rupees total cost price is what 5 plus 4 9 rupees he has spent 9 rupees in buying 40 apples total apples bought is 40 right now let's find out the selling price See, he sold the entire quantity at nine apples for two rupees. He sold the entire quantity at nine apple for two rupees, right? Nine apple for two rupees. So, forty apples were their total, and these were sold at what? Nine per two rupees. That means you'll get nine apples if you pay me two rupees. I have total forty apples. So, what is the selling price? Selling price will be how much? See, understand. Selling price of each apple is what? Two by nine, right? If you're selling nine apples for two rupees, each apple's cost uh, price will become two uh, by nine. Yes or no? Each apple's price will become two by nine. You're paying two rupees, getting nine apples. So per apple you have spent two by nine rupees. And how many apples have you sold? Forty apples. He sold the entire quantity. Forty apples. So what is the total selling price? Two into forty by nine. Eighty by nine. Look at this. The total cost price is nine rupees. The total selling price is not nine rupees; it is less than nine rupees. If you say no profit, no loss, it means selling price is equal to cost price. When you say no profit, no loss, selling price and cost price have to be equal. But has the selling price come out to be equal here? No. The selling price is not nine rupees. Selling price is less than nine rupees. It is eighty by nine. Eighty by nine is slightly less than nine rupees. Which means no profit, no loss is not the answer. It looks like a no profit, no loss case. But actually, the answer is something else. Now, is it a profit or loss? It is definitely a loss because your selling price is less than the cost price. You have spent nine rupees. You have earned only eighty by nine rupees, right? So, find out the loss. How do you find out loss? Since it is loss case, I can say directly it is uh, cost price minus selling price by uh, 
sorry cost price into 100 right loss or profit are always on the cost price right so cost price minus selling price by cost price into 100 simplify this now what happens cost price 9 minus selling price 80 by 9 by 9 into 100 do the calculation you will get the percentage loss so basically what happens this is 9 into 9 81 81 minus 80 is 1 by 9 you are able to follow 9 into 9 81 81 minus 80 is 1 by 9 1 by 9 by 9 able to follow 80 see it is it is approximately no profit no loss but actually no not no no profit no loss case right so 9 times 9 81 81 minus 80 is 1 1 by 99 1 by 99 so approximately i can say one percentage loss approximately not actually approximately one percentage loss slightly more than one slightly more than one because 100 by 99 is more than one 100 by 99 is slightly more than one approximately one percent loss so answer definitely is not 6.66 percentage or 8.88 percentage 1.23 maybe you can check 100 by 99 will it be 1.23 uh, just check It won't be 1.23, right? I mean 1.23 is like 1.25, it's like 5 by 4, this is not 5 by 4. So 1.23 also is incorrect answer in my view. See 1.23 percentage is approximately like 5 by 4. I mean 1.23 in terms of this is 5 by 4. 5 by 4 is not 100 by 99, right? There's a huge difference. So I think answer should be considered as fifth option, none of this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think, uh, my bad, I'm sorry. I, I've considered it says, hold on, 9 into 9, 8 to 99, it is 81. I'm, that's why there's too much of... Sorry about this, guys. Answer will be definitely loss. It could be 1.23. Hold on. My bad. I took 90 to 9 as 99. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so even after doing all this, if I do a wrong calculation, there's no use. 9 to 9 is 81. Yeah. Yeah, so I think 100 by 81 is like 5 by 4. See, it's like 5 times and 4 times. 5 by 4, it can be taken as 1.23. So 1.23 percentage loss option one is the correct answer it cannot be none of this it should be option one 1.23 percentage loss 100 by 81 this is like five times 20 into five this is 20 into four five by four five by four is 1.25 very close to 1.25 1.23 it will be less than 1.25 only that also we know because the denominator is more than 80 so slightly less than 1.25 so 1.23 percentage loss option one is the correct answer